In today's video, we're gonna revisit a concept called supersized boomerang. About a year ago, I made a six foot boomerang out of foam board. I was really proud of the fact that I engineered this giant boomerang that I'm pretty sure no one else has ever done out of foam board. However, the one problem was that when you would throw it, it was so big and so heavy that as it was spinning back towards you, it was extremely intimidating. And so I'd kind of like go for it and then eh, like last minute back out. Eventually, I decided to buck up and just go for it. And when I actually caught it, I left a bruise on my shoulder because it was so heavy. So for today's video, we're going to re-engineer the supersized six foot boomerang so that it's lighter, so I'm not so timid and so scared to catch it. And I can just boom, catch it on the first go. Now the first step is removing the aluminum foil outer layer on the foam board. Done properly, I feel like this could definitely fit within the satisfying category of YouTube. That's right. What up? Oh yeah. Now Caleb, I think you've beaten the record. Ah. Wow, you gotta feel really proud about that one, man. It's so satisfying. This is pretty much how the uh, foam board should look. And we're gonna cut this in half, and then we're gonna glue them so we have three ply foam board. Oh, act, act natural. Blue that. Whoa! What's up, guys? It's your boy Caleb. Over here chilling with some Jolly Ranchers, running around the studio, breaking stuff while Nick's inside talking to his female. Five seconds to tell us what's going on right now. Um, I'm gonna glue these things together. We're gonna make a boomerang. It's gonna be awesome. But we took off the aluminum foil off. So that was five oh, seconds. Yeah, right. This was given to me by Victor. Um, he has a YouTube channel. It's all about boomerangs. It's really tight. There's multiple plies in a boomerang, and so we're kind of copying that. We're gonna use this, liquid nails. I really just wanna make sure we get the edges, because that's important. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's all we get. Pick a corner, flop it on. Give, it, give us a dance, Nick. What are you doing with your hands? Hey! This is the uh, cock walk. It's <laughs> <laughs> because it's cocking. Hey! That's all she wrote. Oh gosh. Put one right there. Bunch of hydrogen peroxide. 24 hours, we'll come back. Should be legit. You don't have one to watch. <laughs> Basically making this giant boomerang from a replica of a boomerang that actually works. I have these plans over here. And essentially all this is, is just a jumbo sized version of this wooden one. It'll curve down 15 degrees. This will curve down 45 degrees. We have these little circles right here indicating where I'm gonna do the weight reduction measure. By taking more of the boomerang out in the middle, but still using duct tape over top of it, have a boomerang that is not so heavy that I won't be scared to catch it. Let's get to carving. I see red lines. I don't see flames. You're just not looking hard enough. Happy birthday. It definitely looks like a piece of cake. Uh, uh, how much uh, to eat it right now? Just take it a little $14. bite. $14. Dollars actually, but how are you gonna throw this? With difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the largest catchable boomerang ever constructed ever. No ever. Way. Let you know that we're sciencing out here. Ah! That's like what the side of a wing looks like. That's what we're going for. Somehow this was like smoother and like when I thought it through. That worked pretty nice. My only real fear here is that it like makes it too flimsy. A genuine concern. Uh, I don't know how supposed to happen. Doesn't this look like a security cam? Give me all your boomerangs! Only got one, but it's really big! The next step is we're gonna duct tape the living crap out of it. My favorite step. Hey, Caleb, do you drink coffee? Nope. I'm sorry. It's delicious. We're gonna flip her over and do the same thing on the other side. Pimp your boomer pimp. Made out of solid silver. By that he means solid silver duct tape. Oh shoot. Came out to Kenneth Hahn Park. It's pretty close to my house. I just want to show you like what a regular boomerang 
like should look like, like how it should fly and where you should catch it. Fingertips! Oh. <laughs> All right, here we come. Oh, sw back. swing back, baby. Swing back. Yes! One hand in! That's how you throw and catch boomerang. Is that weird? Um. Wind is south, southwest. Oh, 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 does it count? Oh, no! Oh, oh where's the duct tape? <laughs> it's just like getting punched. You just gotta believe in yourself. That's very important. Oh! So close! Oh. This is it, this is it, this is it. Oh! Yeah! Oh, no! You literally had it in your hands. It was like good. And then <laughs> there's so much power. Yeah. In the boomerang. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh! He did it! He did it! Yeah! Baby. The boomerang trophy! Play that guitar! We're gonna go right to the Sydney <laughs> Opera House and we're gonna tell everybody. Oh my gosh, dude. Nailed it! Nailed it! I caught Freaking the... epic. That was pretty great. Put your hand like up here and then put this one back here. Okay. Pull on this hand, and push. push on that one, and then kind of give it a little like rotate with your torso. Exactly. More like a discus. Boomerang. Ow! <laughs> I hear no laughing. Ah. <sighs> On a scale of one to ten, where are we at? Right now, oh, you know, uh, a wall of it. You gotta respect the boom, bruh. Be being behind the camera and watching it, it doesn't look like it would be that bad. And then when you're trying to catch it, and it's just this giant spinning disc <laughs> that's coming at you, and it's like, it's much heavier than it looks. Boomerang one, Caleb Seaton zero. Zero. I'm gonna keep it in the garage for you, okay? When you're healthy again, you, you can have another shot. Get this boomerang. Let me get it really good. Yeah, you. He's coming for you. So we made a new adapted version of the giant boomerang. We put a little bit of uh, weight saving holes in here. To be honest, I'm not really sure how much weight saving it really did after we added all the duct tape. It was definitely a more fun experience because this time around, I learned how to throw the boomerang differently. Um, and it, and over time made me feel like I could catch it with ease. This is definitely the best version of the giant boomerang we have made. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, have you ever seen a boomerang this big that was caught, thrown and caught? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Eh, I'll see you really soon. Yeah! Dude, no way did you almost just catch that. No freaking way. I, I got scared. I probably could have caught that. Bro, I think you really- Coward! I think you really could have caught that. Oh my